Hello, and uh, let's make a railroad. First, we take a primitive, a, a curve, a circle, and close the tab. Hit S, middle mouse button to zoom, like that. Hit points, select points, hit V to translate or move select and hit X and we scale it down hit uh, X again select the whole well nearly all hit X again take it in hit X this is not a typical rail but it's good for now then we hit object and then we go to the right uh, panel, middle uh, hit, uh, hit S and on the keyboard and middle mouse to zoom out. And then we hit uh, well, it's we are in a model. Hmm. Okie dokie. And then we hit curve, draw cubic by CVs. And then you just click here, and here, and up there, and here, and down there, and here, and there. And then you right click, and then exit tool. And then we will extrude this along this curve. But it's, you see on from the side it's too big, so we go here, and hit X, and then we uh, scale it uh, down like that and hit X again and then we go to uh, animate tab we take uh, no we do not do that we go to model we take surf uh, surface mesh and then extrusion along curve it asks us to pick the curve, we select it, and woof, it goes. But as you can see, it's pretty uh, chunky. It's not... Uh, let's see... Here you can see it. it's like... It doesn't look like it couldn't be used to rail. <laughs> so, we push up the V. like this and then we close it and we can see it in uh, we are now seeing it in wireframe we we choose shaded and then we deselect and now we can see the rail but if we now take the geometry we used to extrude this rail and we take we select it and remove it the whole rail disappear so we take control set to make get it back what we have to do is del uh, delete uh, the history of the rail so we select everything every everything the rail and the bit that we made to extrude the rail and then we go to freeze now the whole history of the rail and the connection it has to this bit is gone. So now I can hit delete and the rail stays intact. And then I uh, select the rail, hold down uh, control and D to duplicate and then I hit V and then I take it to the side and then I hit V again to deselect and then I hit this side and hit V and take this out. Now I can see uh, no I, I have and then I hit V again and now you can see I've exposed the curve. With this this curve we will uh, use to uh, line up the wood tracks to support the rail. But first we have to make uh, that. So you go to primitive Polygon Mesh Cube 
and then you just go like this and yes it looks perfect in fact and uh, then you hit the uh, uh, the X key to scale it you can go here like uh, this and uh, you hit X again to deselect or m go to object mode but no this is a cube it says cube we have to make it into a model so we go to the left panel to model and make it into a new model and close the tab and this cross tells us that no this is a model and here it says B model and then we go to the model tab and go down to animate we can hit 2 on, on the keyboard and then we uh, take path and we set the wood uh, uh, the wood uh, board path and then we want to have control over its linear and ten in tangency so we select this and say OK and then it asks ask me to pick the curve then I pick the curve and of course it doesn't line up so then we go to the ten tangency as we set in the in the last tab and we set, set it to minus C you can just click like a nutta to get it right and then you go to up vector and then you activate this one and then it's OK and when we know drag this it will follow the curve and the tangency and rotation it will be fit perfect perfectly so we go back and then we make instances of it we go to edit duplicate instantiate we go down to duplicate instantiate from animation and then we can um, uh, let yeah we can have it uh, every 10 step and here's the real uh, deal you have to click to activate its I it as instance if you take it as copy uh, or just uh, du duplicate it uh, this mean if you uh, are going to change the uh, the wood board then you have to change every single wood board you have you make but by making it, it an instance you can change the original and it will uh, and every every instance of that cop copy would will, uh, will uh, uh, also change I'm not good in English talking okay thank you <laughs> bear with me and then we say okay and whoops it makes it beautiful but as you can see uh, the the wood has, has, has to have to uh, elevate the rails so we select the uh, one rail hit down shift key select the other rail hit V and just move them up and hit V again and uh, then we have to take the last if, we, if I hit click on this it will say model instance 3 if I hit this the last one this is the original and with that selected I go down to the first frame and I go to the constraint and remove all constraints and uh, then I select the curve I don't need it move and I hit Q select and drop and then it's uh,